welcome to the Illuminati Killers in Indonesia. Yeah. So, you, make sure you understand this, folks. Israel is excavating under the Temple Mount. Right. The Temple Mount is the holy land of, of the uh, Muslims. Right. But the Israelis are digging tunnels under the Temple Mount. Right. And so you saw that part of it there. That was interesting enough. You know, I, I can see an archaeological dig. I can see, you know, you look at the rocks here, look at the foundation, and that would have great historical significance. What we saw next, Rick, and this will be the first time I know a lot of our viewers will ever be exposed to this. And so I want you to watch carefully in this next uh, clip. We're going to run it with sound here because I want you to see what's going on here. I want you to look at the surroundings. We're still underground. We're going into another chamber of this dig. But this particular chamber happens to be directly under the Dome of the Rock. Okay. And what is this chamber? This chamber is actually a synagogue that's been built underground. A synagogue under directly under the Dome of the Rock. Yes, under the Temple Mount so itself. So the Muslims above are aware that underground mm -hmm. there is a Jewish synagogue under the Dome of the Rock. Well, whether they're aware about well, they, it or not. They are aware of it. This, no, this came, out, this came out in the news a year or two ago. But most Christians aren't aware of it. That's right. Okay. So let's watch this clip. And I want you to just look at, see anything peculiar around uh, the surroundings here, around the ornaments or anything. See if anything really I, jumps out should at you. Should be looking for a Nephilim? Well, maybe. Uh, maybe look something round. Okay. Yeah. All look right. forward here. All right. Okay, so you gentlemen had the opportunity to take a look at that clip. Edward, you notice anything weird or unusual there in that clip? There is an enormous golden globe mm -hmm. with Hebrew writing on it and a flame coming out of it. What in the world did we just look at? A big globe of planet Earth with a flame coming out of it. Right. Now, a lot of Christians don't even know that this synagogue even exists, first of all. But now having seen this and seen that globe, what, what should the response be, Rick? Well, my, my immediate uh, thought is it's a symbol of global Zionism overtaking the world, ruling the world from Jerusalem. Mm. Uh, and I, I believe what they're showing us is, uh, you know, they have, they have full intentions of rebuilding the temple. Now, the question, and we'll have to wait and see, Will God allow them to rebuild a temple? Right. It's not God building a temple. Right. But will God allow the Jews to rebuild the temple? God tore down their second temple. Right. And I'm not convinced he's going to allow them to build a third one, but he may because um, it, it will be the seat of power. Mm of the beast system. So Jerusalem will rule the world. I've been at this job for 20 years. I have studied the new world order, globalism, Freemasonry, the Vatican. I've studied all these things, Nazism, and I've tried to make sense of all this. And I finally came to a conclusion. As far as I'm concerned, I could retire. I figured what, I finally figured out what is going on and where this is going. It is global Zionism, it is the synagogue of Satan seizing control of the world and Jerusalem becoming the capital of the world.
There's where it's going, folks. This is why I'm harping so much about Zionism. Somebody said, why is he on this? So, I'm trying to tell you this is, a, this is the play for the end of time. Yes. This is the play for the end of time. This is where it's going. Right. It is a Zionist-centered global government out of Jerusalem, which the Bible calls Sodom and Egypt. It is the great city Babylon. When you see the full video of him walking down the tunnels, his eyes, he looks distressed. He looks worried, like he's witnessing spiritual things that are troubling him. That's right. Thank you. 